This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. <laughs> Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now, that solo that you've just heard me demonstrate there, I think is utterly remarkable. It's tuneful, it's soulful, it's fluent, it's beautifully phrased, but the most remarkable thing about it is that it was played by a 15-year-old boy, a lad by the name of Shuggy Otis. It comes from an album uh, called Cooper Session, Al Cooper and Shuggy Otis, which I did a video about recently, and I'll link to that video in the description where I'm waxing lyrical about the virtues of this album. And I just thought, you know, as I'd recently discovered rediscovered this album, um, I'd put one of the solos under the microscope, and uh, it was a whole load of fun to uh, to do. In case you're wondering, the uh, settings I was using there were this Mercurial Free uh, Tube Screamer plug-in and uh, Bias Amp 2's Dumble simulation um, that is um, a big favourite sound of mine. Anyway, let's... Uh, take a little bit of a look and have a little bit of an insight into some of the more uh, valuable things that you can learn from this solo. Okay then, the chord sequence we're playing over is essentially this. Uh, as you can see, two bars of C minor 7 going to two bars of B flat. And then round and round it several times more. Now what Shuggy's doing here is treating that B flat chord as being the tonal centre of what's going on. And uh, not surprisingly, he's using the B flat major pentatonic. <laughs> Which has the notes of B flat, C, D, F and G in it. But that C minor 7 chord also contains an E flat note so there are plenty of places in the solo where he's adding in the E flat note usually over the C minor 7 chord here's where you can add those notes into this pattern <laughs> And 
And here are all the patterns of B flat major pentatonic showing where you can add in uh, the E flat notes in the context of each of those patterns. And if you're a Patreon supporter of mine, you can download a printer friendly version of these uh, cut of these uh, scale patterns. What I want to do now is take a look at some of the, I think, standout licks of the solo. I've chosen three that sort of give a bit of an illustration of, um, you know, some of the more important salient points of what's going on. The first one I'm going to talk about is a lick that happens fairly, fairly early on in the solo. It's this one. Now what's happening with that lick is that we are using the notes of C, B flat, pull off to the open G string, and then the F note on the D string at the third fret. It's and what makes this lick work really well is that it's, um, it doesn't last for a full beat. Uh, it lasts for three quarters of a beat. There are the notes in the lick like that. You can see them just kind of written out at the bottom of the screen there. And if I put the count in around that, you can see that if we're counting in semiquavers, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, that, um, that C note, which begins the lick, uh, basically falls in on, you know, kind of odd places in relation to the beat because the, um, you know, the, the lick lasts for three quarters of a beat and, uh, it therefore is going to kind of trip over the end of each beat. What I'll do to demonstrate this is play it at half speed to a metronome. You hear how it's kind of tripping over the beat there. Um, it's called rhythmic displacement, and there are numerous examples of it in this solo, and that's the first one that we really encounter. So that's the one I thought I'd, um, I'd use as an illustration of it. Now, the next lick that we're going to look at is this one. <laughs> So what's going on here then? Uh, this is the only time in the in the solo where he really uses this double stop technique, but it's a very effective technique and it's um, a good one to learn. Well, um, basically those two chords, B flat and C minor seven, you can view them as coming from the B flat major scale. So there's a B flat major scale. And what we can do with that is arrange the scale in sixths. So we just pair each note up with um, the note uh, kind of six scale tones above it and therefore you can see that the B flat is going to be paired up with the uh, G and the C is going to be paired up with the A and so on and so on and basically on the neck of the guitar that looks like this And it's that middle section of the scale that he's kind of playing around with here. It's a, in that lick there. Very, very effective uh, technique. And um, you can see I'm using a little bit of hybrid picking there. And I'm, I'm guessing he's doing the same thing. So I'm using my pick on the um, third string and uh, my third finger on my uh, right hand where is it there it is this finger on this hand for the top e string so and very effective kind of country blues and even you know kind of rock sort of technique really um well worth being able to um to do of course you need to know which scale to organize into sixth so that then kind of um you know it, w it would have been you you would need to know that the b flat major scale would work over these chords here so you need to have a little bit of uh knowledge about uh what scales and you know what key you're in and all that sort of stuff but that's uh, a story for another video i think now the final technique I want to uh, draw to your attention here again happens in a few places in the solo and um, it's basically adding just a little magic pause before a note. It gives that note a little bit more, um, you know, impact. Here's the lick. <laughs> Uh, 
and on screen now you can see exactly what's going on you can see that there is uh, like a pause before that note that he plays at the um, at the at the beginning of the lick it's just it, he could have hit that note right on the beginning of the bar but he doesn't he just makes you wait for it a little bit and that uh, has the effect of drawing the listener in um, it, here's a demonstration just on on some any random lick that i could come up with uh, let's let's see if i could take this lick here <laughs> fairly standard sort of thing okay now how about i just introduce a pause before that final note it just makes you kind of wait for it just that heartbeat longer and um gives that note more impact when it arrives you know it's it's um leaving a significant pause um you know it's something that um many many guitar players do and shuggy is uh you know quite fond of it in this solo so there you go b flat major pentatonic with added e flat notes over the um c minor seventh chords a little bit of rhythmic displacement uh some nice double stops there to get your fingers around and um you know an easy way to add a little bit more drama to a solo is to just put the odd pause in like like either at the beginning of a lick don't start the lick bang on the beat um or in the middle of a lick you know um something again like just that little kind of hesitation there gives it a little bit more poignancy or impact so there you go have fun with a solo and um you know go and check out the album it's really well worth uh, listening to and of course as usual there is a full tab in both guitar pro and pdf formats along with the video of me playing the solo and that video that you've seen of me just kind of explaining a few bits and pieces about it and a backing track to play along with all of that is up on my patreon page there's the address and the link is of course in the description it's only three dollars a month and you get all of these extra resources that go with these youtube lessons that i put up thank you so much to every Everyone who is supporting me in that manner or any of the other ways that which are all linked down in the description thank you so much i am really grateful to each and every one of you and thank you in advance if you're thinking about doing it all i need to do now is remind you that it's monday but um it'll be friday before we know it and we as you know have a live stream on this channel every friday 5 p.m uk time where we just sit around and have a beer and a chat about uh, whatever crops up it's a great way to kick off the weekend and i would love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane Bye for now.